The rate of popularity of series increases every year, and the viewer does not want to part with his favorite characters. Therefore, series are becoming more and more ambitious and dynamic. Today is absolutely no surprise that on the big screen is a series, which can gather at the screens a few million people. In recent years, in this area there has been clear progress. TV series are now, first and foremost, a reflection of our lives. It is an opportunity not to leave home to get those emotions that everyone needs. These are fascinating stories, told to the smallest detail. Such stories are waiting with great trepidation, and they always gather a mass of viewers around them. As in this case. After all, every connoisseur of such series finds something just for himself. Meanwhile, the episode release date has already been determined. Spectators will be able to see the new episode on February 10th. Even before its release, the series has gathered unprecedented excitement around itself, even more winning the attention and interest of the viewer. The audience builds possible options for the development of storylines, but so far it is only a guess. Stock up on popcorn and look forward to the premiere. In anticipation of the new episodes, you might think that there is nothing better already. But there isn't. And the next series, like this one, may prove otherwise. It's certainly worth watching. Vikings is a historical drama television series created and written by Michael Hurst. Vikings is inspired by the sagas of Ragnar Lodbrok, a Viking who is one of the best-known legendary Norse heroes and notorious as the scourge of Anglo-Saxon England and West Francia. The show portrays Ragnar as a farmer who rises to fame by raiding England and eventually becomes the Scandinavian king, with the support of his family and fellow warriors. In the later seasons, the series follows the fortunes of his sons and their adventures in England, Scandinavia, the Mediterranean and North America. The series began filming in July 2012 at Ashford Studios in Ireland, which at the time was a newly built facility. This location was chosen for its scenery and tax advantages. The first episode received favorable reviews, with an average rating of 71% according to Metacritic. Many characters are based on real people from history or legend and the events portrayed are broadly drawn from history. The history of more than a century has been condensed, people who could never have met are shown as of similar age, with the history amended for dramatic effect. The main role is played by Travis Fimmel. The man at the time of filming the series was already 35 years, but before the series Vikings, he got only a minor minor role. He was better known as a model, because he did not see himself as the fearless leader of the harsh northerners. After the series, the actor became one of the most recognizable among contemporary celebrities. Establishment, Osman is a Turkish historical drama television series. It is a sequel to the popular multi-episode show Risen Ertegrel, which gained fans around the world and was one of the highest rated shows in Turkey. The actors of the series underwent special training for nine months. They learned how to ride a horse, wield a sword, practice swordplay, shoot an arrow, and learn martial choreography. Their military training took place in mountainous and forested areas, where they built their fortifications, sought water and prepared food. Audiences loved the beautiful sets, which look authentic, and the detailed costumes, which give a fairly accurate representation of the historical era. The story of the founder of the state, who became part of national legends, cannot turn out neutral. It will be fiery and memorable. For Turkish viewers there is nothing unnatural about this, but for those who watched the series in other countries it may seem a bit strange. The series is focuses on the life of Osman, the founder of the Ottoman Empire. The TV show includes Osman Ghazi's internal and external struggles and how he establishes and controls the Ottoman Empire. It portrays his struggles against Byzantium and the Mongol Ilkhanate and how he was able to secure independence from the Sultanate of Rum to establish a sovereign state that would stand up to the Byzantine and Mongol empires and would honor the Turks. The character of Osman faces many enemies and traitors in his quest and the show illustrates how he was able to overcome these obstacles and fulfill his mission with the help of his loyal companions, family, and friends. Bra Sick is a British comedy drama television series which premiered on Sky One on August 22, 2019 and became Sky's most successful comedy in seven years. The series follows the lives of Vinnie O'Neill and his friends in the fictional town of Holly. The first series consists of six episodes, which concluded on September 19, 2019, receiving positive reviews. 
Brasic follows the lives of Vinny and his five friends as they live their lives in the fictional northern English town of Holly. The working class group commit various crimes to keep money in their pockets, but as they get older some of them wonder if there's more to life away from the town. Lucy Mangan of The Guardian, reviewing the series, gave it 4 out of 5 stars, saying, it is a hilarious, warm, brutal melange that works because it has heart without sentimentality and authenticity without strain. Creator and lead actor Joseph Gilgan has been praised for his performance as Vinny O'Neill, with review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes commenting, Joseph Gilgan is wonderfully expressive as Vinny, his volatile features continually scrunching together and apart like the top of a drawstring bag. The Witcher is a Polish-American fantasy drama television series created by Lauren Schmidt Hisrich, based on the book series of the same name. Set on a fictional, medieval-inspired landmass known as the Continent, The Witcher explores the legend of Geralt of Rivia and Princess Ciri, who are linked to each other by destiny. It stars Henry Cavill, Freya Allen and Anya Kalatra. The story begins with Geralt of Rivia, Crown Princess Ciri of Sintra, and the sorceress Yennefer of Vengeberg at different points of time, exploring formative events that shaped their characters throughout first season, before eventually merging into a single timeline. Geralt and Ciri are linked by destiny since before she was born when he unknowingly demanded her as a reward for his services by invoking the Law of Surprise. After the two finally meet, the Witcher becomes the princess's protector and must help her and fight against her various pursuers to prevent her elder blood and powerful magic from being used for malevolent purposes and keep Ciri and their world safe. Sonia Belusova and Giona Ostinelli composed the soundtrack for the first season. The duo collaborated with several soloists and artists, the soundtrack features many medieval instruments to match the medieval-inspired setting of the series. More of 60 different instruments from around the world were used to create the soundtrack. In an interview, the author of the Witcher novels admitted that he was disappointed in the series and considered the series to be only a mediocre adaptation of his books that had little in common with them. But in the same interview he noted another important aspect, saying that the creators of the series are entitled to their own vision of the story they invented. Prison Break is an American serial drama television series created by Paul Schering for Fox. The series revolves around two brothers, Lincoln Burroughs and Michael Schofield. Burroughs has been sentenced to death for a crime he did not commit, and Schofield devises an elaborate plan to help his brother escape prison and clear his name. The series was originally turned down by Fox in 2003, which was concerned about the long-term prospects of such a series. Following the popularity of serialized primetime television series Lost in 24, Fox decided to back production in 2004. The first season received mostly positive reviews from critics with universal acclaim from audiences. Prison Break was nominated for several industry awards, including the 2005 Golden Globe Award for Best Television Series Drama and the 2006 People's Choice Award for Favorite New TV Drama, which it won. The first season of Prison Break, an American serial drama television series, commenced airing in the United States and Canada on August 2005. A total of 10 actors received star billing in the first season, with numerous supporting roles. Filming took place mostly in and around the Chicago area, Fox River was represented by Joliet Prison, which had closed in 2002. Critical reviews of the first season were generally favorable. The first episode was just great. Michael Schofield gets imprisoned in Fox River State Penitentiary as part of an elaborate plan to break out his brother, Lincoln Burroughs. Scenes set in Lincoln's cell, the infirmary, and the prison yard were all shot on location at the prison. Lincoln's cell is the same one in which John Wayne Gacy was incarcerated. Most of the production crew refused to enter the cell, thinking that it was haunted. 23, other sets were built at the prison, including the cell blocks that housed the general prison population. These blocks had three tiers of cells, as opposed to the real cell blocks too, and had cells much larger than real cells to allow more space for the actors and cameras. The two-hour pilot episode garnered approximately 10.5 million viewers. Lie to Me is an American crime drama television series. In the show, Dr. Cal Lightman and his colleagues in the Lightman Group accept assignments from third parties, commonly local and federal law enforcement, and assist in investigations, reaching the truth through applied psychology. The show received mostly positive reviews from television critics. 
Tim Roth as Dr. Cal Lightman, a brilliant expert in the science of body language, especially microexpressions, and founder of the Lightman Group, a private company that operates as an independent contractor to assist investigations of local and federal law enforcement through applied psychology. Though often confronted by people's skepticism, Lightman uses any technique he deems necessary to reach the truth, however elaborate or confronting. He is divorced and shares custody of his teenage daughter. He cares deeply about his colleague Jillian Foster. Season 1 opens with Cal and Jillian hiring a new associate, TSA officer Ria Torres, who scored extraordinarily high on Cal's deception detection diagnostic, and is in turn labeled a natural at deception detection. Her innate talent in the field clashes with Cal's academic approach, and he often shows off by rapidly analyzing her every facial expression. She counters by reading Lightman and, when he least expects it, peppers conversations with quotes from his books. The Vampire Diaries is an American supernatural teen drama television series developed by Kevin Williamson and Julie Pleck, based on the book series of the same name. The series premiered on September 10, 2009, and concluded on March 10, 2017, having aired 171 episodes over eight seasons. The series is set in the fictional town of Mystic Falls, Virginia, a town charged with supernatural history. It follows the life of Elena Gilbert, a teenage girl who has just lost both parents in a car accident, as she falls in love with a 162-year-old vampire named Stefan Salvatore. Their relationship becomes increasingly complicated as Stefan's mysterious older brother Damon Salvatore returns, with a plan to bring back their past love Catherine Pierce, a vampire who looks exactly like Elena. Although Damon initially harbors a grudge against his brother for forcing him to become a vampire, he later reconciles with Stefan and falls in love with Elena, creating a love triangle among the three. Both brothers attempt to protect Elena as they face various villains and threats to their town, including Catherine. The brothers' history and the town's mythology are revealed through flashbacks as the series goes on. The Vampire Diaries initially received mixed reviews, which through the course of the show, improved significantly. Many TV critics felt the series improved with each episode. Sarah Hughes of The Independent says The Vampire Diaries turns into a well-crafted, interestingly developed series despite a mediocre opening episode. Miracle Workers is an American anthology comedy television series created by Simon Rich. It is based on Rich's writings, with each season being based on a different work. Miracle Workers premiered on February 12, 2019, with its seven-episode first season. The first season follows Craig, a low-level angel responsible for handling all of humanity's prayers, and Eliza, a recent transfer from the Department of Dirt. Their boss, God, has pretty much checked out to focus on his favorite hobbies. To prevent Earth's destruction, Craig and Eliza must achieve their most impossible miracle to date. Alongside the initial series order announcement, it was confirmed that Daniel Radcliffe and Owen Wilson would star in the series. Simon Rich back when he wrote the book had high hopes that someday it would be filmed, but no one seriously believed that anyone would be able to recreate such a huge world on the screen. Daniel Radcliffe was a fan of the books even before the adaptation and was one of the first to join the cast of the series. At the same time, Simon greatly admired Daniel as an actor. Radcliffe is also an excellent producer, he helped the project in every way and took a lot of different creative decisions, from finding designers to the choice of the cast. In the early stages of script development, Owen Wilson was in the cast. But after the actor saw the final drafts of the script, his opinion disagreed with the screenwriters about his character. So he was replaced by Steve Buscemi. The idea of the creators was that God was flawed and vulnerable, just like the people he created. They wanted to see a character who is sometimes reckless and irrational. That's the kind of God Steve would play. The Big Bang Theory is an American television sitcom created by Chuck Lorre and Bill Prady. It premiered on September 2007 and concluded on May 2019, having broadcast 279 episodes over 12 seasons. The show originally centered on five characters living in Pasadena, California. Over time, supporting characters were promoted to starring roles. The main characters of the series are young physicists Leonard Hofstadter and Sheldon Cooper, typical representatives of geek culture. They are fond of comics, 
fantasy series, board and computer games, paintball and attending various fan meetings. These hobbies are shared with them by aerospace engineer Howard Wulowitz and astrophysicist Rajesh Kuthrapoli. All four friends are closely related to science and work at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, California. However, the life of the guys changes dramatically when an aspiring actress and waitress Penny settles on the same landing with Sheldon and Leonard. Although the initial reception was mixed, the show went on to receive a more positive reception. The show's pilot episode premiered on September 2007. This was the second pilot produced for the show. A different pilot was produced for the 2006 television season but never aired. The structure of the original unaired pilot was different from the series' current form. The only main characters retained in both pilots were Leonard and Sheldon, who are named after Sheldon Leonard, a longtime figure in episodic television as producer, director, and actor. In the first seasons, the main characters faced the problem of socialization more than others. That's what the main jokes were based on. This is what attracted the viewer in this series, because it was fun for everyone to watch how the characters are trying to find a soulmate and make new acquaintances. Breaking Bad is an American neo-western crime drama television series created and produced by Vince Gilligan. The series stars Brian Cranston as Walter White and Aaron Paul as his accomplice Jesse Pinkman. It was set and filmed in New Mexico, and tells the story of Walter White, an underpaid, overqualified, and dispirited high school chemistry teacher who is struggling with a recent diagnosis of stage 3 lung cancer. Walter turns to a life of crime, partnering with his former student Jesse Pinkman. Since its conclusion, the show has been lauded by critics as one of the greatest television series of all time. As the series progressed, Gilligan and the writing staff of Breaking Bad made Walter increasingly unsympathetic. Before completing the script, Gilligan revealed that it was difficult to develop the character of Walter White because the character was getting darker and more morally conflicted. Writing music for each episode takes about a week. Each episode's soundtrack was typically led by meetings between the composer, music supervisor, and music editor with Vince Gilligan and the key people involved in the episode's creation. They discussed where the music should be and where not. The first season received numerous awards and nominations, including four Primetime Emmy Award nominations with two wins. Brian Cranston won for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series and Lynn Willingham won for Outstanding Single Camera Picture Editing for a Drama Series. The first season of the series, starting with the pilot episode, introduces the viewer to the life of Walter White, a 50-year-old high school chemistry teacher from the city of Albuquerque. In addition to teaching, he is forced to work part-time at a car wash to support his pregnant wife and disabled son. However, Walter has to rethink his usual lifestyle when he is diagnosed with inoperable lung cancer. Doctor Who is a British science fiction television program broadcast by the BBC since 1963. The program depicts the adventures of a Time Lord called the Doctor, an extraterrestrial being who appears to be human. The Doctor explores the universe in a time-traveling spaceship called the TARDIS. The TARDIS exterior appears as a blue British police box, which was a common sight in Britain in 1963 when the series first aired. With various companions, the Doctor combats foes, works to save civilizations, and helps people in need. Beginning with William Hartnell, 13 actors have headlined the series as the Doctor. In 2017, Jodie Whittaker became the first woman to officially play the role on television. The transition from one actor to another is written into the plot of the show with the concept of regeneration into a new incarnation, a plot device in which a Time Lord transforms into a new body when the current one is too badly harmed to heal normally. Each actor's portrayal is unique, but all represent stages in the life of the same character, and together, they form a single lifetime with a single narrative. The time-traveling feature of the plot means that different incarnations of the Doctor occasionally meet. The program was originally intended to appeal to a family audience as an educational program using time travel as a means to explore scientific ideas and famous moments in history. The show is a significant part of British popular culture, and elsewhere, it has gained a cult following. It has influenced generations of British television professionals, many of whom grew up watching the series. The program is listed in Guinness World Records as the longest-running science fiction television show in the world, as well as the most successful science fiction series of all time. The program originally ran from 1963 to 1989. 
There was an unsuccessful attempt to revive regular production in 1996 with a backdoor pilot in the form of a television film titled Doctor Who. The program was relaunched in 2005 and since then, has been produced in-house by BBC Wales in Cardiff. Misfits is a British science fiction comedy drama television show about a group of young offenders sentenced to work in a community service program where they obtain supernatural powers after a strange electrical storm. The show premiered on November 12, 2009 and concluded on December 11, 2013 in its fifth season. The show is filmed in southeast London, mostly on location around the Southmere Lake in Thamesmead, including the signature shot of the four multi-story buildings from the roof of the Lakeside Centre and Bexley College. The first series was accompanied by an online viral marketing, on social networking websites such as Facebook and Twitter. For example, in a British first, the characters Simon and Kelly tweeted during the initial transmission of each episode, with the content of the tweets provided by writers Sam Leifer and Ben Edwards, under the direction of lead writer Howard Overman and executive producer Petra Fry. British reviews were positive. The Times gave it 4 out of 5 stars, calling it a new union, salty British street humor with whiz-bang special effects. The Irish media were also impressed with the show. The Evening Herald called the debut episode dark, hilarious, exciting and beautifully produced. The X-Files is an American science fiction drama television series created by Chris Carter. The series revolves around FBI special agents Fox Mulder and Dana Scully who investigate X-Files, marginalized, unsolved cases involving paranormal phenomena. The X-Files was a hit for the Fox network and received largely positive reviews, although its long-term story arc was criticized near the conclusion. Both the series itself and lead actors Duchovny and Anderson received multiple awards and nominations, and by its conclusion the show was the longest-running science fiction series in U.S. television history. Duchovny had worked in Los Angeles for three years prior to The X-Files, at first he wanted to focus on feature films. In 1993, his manager, Melanie Green, gave him the script for the pilot episode of The X-Files. Green and Duchovny were both convinced it was a good script, so he auditioned for the lead. Duchovny's audition was terrific, though he talked rather slowly. While the casting director of the show was very positive toward him, Carter thought that he was not particularly intelligent. He asked Duchovny if he could please imagine himself as an FBI agent in future episodes. Duchovny, however, turned out to be one of the best read people that Carter knew. Anderson auditioned for the role of Scully in 1993. After auditions, Carter felt she was the only choice. Carter insisted that Anderson had the kind of no-nonsense integrity that the role required. For portraying Scully, Anderson won numerous major awards, the Screen Actors Guild Award in 1996 and 1997, an Emmy Award in 1997, and a Golden Globe Award 1997. The pilot premiered on September 10, 1993, and reached 12 million viewers. As the season progressed, ratings began to increase and the season finale garnered 14 million viewers. The first season revolves around its two main characters, which had been defined early in conception as the believer and the skeptic. The season saw the series quickly gaining popularity, with ratings rising steadily throughout its run, and garnered generally positive reviews from critics and the media. It helped to make stars of its two lead roles, and several of its taglines and catchphrases have since become cultural staples. Fargo is an American black comedy crime drama television series created and primarily written by Noah Hawley. The show is inspired by the 1996 film of the same name, which was written and directed by the Cone brothers, and takes place within the same fictional universe. The Cones were impressed by Hawley's script and agreed to be named as executive producers. The series premiered on April 15, 2014. Each season is heavily influenced by various Cone Brothers films, with each containing numerous references to them. The first season, set primarily in Minnesota and North Dakota from January 2006 to February 2007 and starring Billy Bob Thornton, Allison Tolman, Colin Hanks, and Martin Freeman, received wide acclaim from critics. It won the Primetime Emmy Awards for Outstanding Miniseries, Outstanding Directing, and Outstanding Casting, and received 15 additional nominations including Outstanding Writing, another Outstanding Directing nomination, and Acting nominations for all four leads. 
In 1997, a pilot was filmed for an intended television series based on the film. Filming of the first season began in Calgary, Alberta, in late 2013 and concluded in 2014. The first season garnered eight Primetime Emmy Award nominations. The first season of Fargo received critical acclaim. It currently holds a Metacritic score of 85 out of 100 based on 40 reviews, indicating universal acclaim. Black Mirror is a British anthology television series created by Charlie Brooker. Individual episodes explore a diversity of genres, but most are set in near-future dystopias utilizing a science fiction technology, a type of speculative fiction. The series is based on the Twilight Zone and uses technology to comment on contemporary social issues. As Black Mirror is an anthology series, each episode is standalone and can be watched in any order. The majority of episodes are set in dystopian near-futures with novel technologies that exaggerate a trait from contemporary culture, often the internet. Black Mirror can be seen to demonstrate a negative view of unending pursuit of scientific and technological advancement. The majority of episodes end unhappily. However, characters who carefully consider the risks of technology with which they engage are met with happy endings. The first episode received mostly positive critical reviews. Most reviewers found the episode plausible. Sims commented that every twist seems organic and every decision rational, leading the audience to overlook the insanity of the premise or any minor plot hole. The acting received a positive critical reception. Airing on December 4, 2011, the episode garnered 2.07 million viewers, according to seven-day figures from the broadcaster's audience research board. It was nominated for Best Single Drama at the 2013 Broadcast Awards. Stranger Things is an American science fiction horror drama television series created by the Duffer Brothers and streaming on Netflix. The brothers serve as showrunners and are executive producers along with Sean Levy and Dan Cohen. The series premiered on Netflix on July 15, 2016. Set in the 1980s in the fictional town of Hawkins, Indiana, the first season focuses on the investigation into the disappearance of a young boy amid supernatural events occurring around the town. The Duffer brothers develop Stranger Things as a mix of investigative drama alongside supernatural elements portrayed with horror, science fiction and childlike sensibilities. Setting the series in the 1980s, the Duffer brothers infused references to the pop culture of that decade while several themes and directorial aspects were inspired primarily by the works of Steven Spielberg, John Carpenter and Stephen King, as well as anime and video games. Stranger Things has attracted record viewership on Netflix and has an international fan base. The series has received critical acclaim for its characterization, atmosphere, acting, soundtrack, directing, writing, and homages to 1980s films. It has received many awards and nominations, including 39 Primetime Emmy Award nominations, for Golden Globe Award nominations, a British Academy Television Award nomination, two Directors Guild of America Award nominations, three Writers Guild of America Award nominations, and three Grammy Award nominations. Stranger Things gained a dedicated fan base soon after its release. The Queen's Gambit is a 2020 American coming-of-age period drama streaming television miniseries based on the 1983 novel of the same name by Walter Tevis. The title refers to The Queen's Gambit, a chess opening. The series was written and directed by Scott Frank, who created it with Alan Scott, who owns the rights to the book. Beginning in the mid-1950s and proceeding into the 1960s, the story follows the life of Beth Harmon, a fictional chess prodigy on her rise to the top of the chess world while struggling with dependencies. Netflix released The Queen's Gambit on October 23, 2020. After four weeks it had become Netflix's most-watched scripted miniseries, making it Netflix's top program in 63 countries. The series received critical acclaim, with particular praise for Taylor Joy's performance, the cinematography, and production values. It also received a positive response from the chess community for its accurate depictions of high-level chess, and data suggests that it increased public interest in the game. The first episodes were immediately loved by millions of viewers. The plot was very intriguing. In 1950s Lexington, Kentucky, an eight-year-old Beth, having lost her mother in a car crash, is taken to an orphanage where she is taught chess by the building's custodian, Mr. Shable. 
She quickly becomes a strong chess player due to her visualization skills. A few years later, Beth is adopted by childless suburban couple Alma and Alston Wheatley. As she adjusts to her new home, Beth enters a chess tournament and wins despite having no prior experience in competitive chess. Alma is initially resistant to Beth's interest in chess, but after Beth wins her first tournament, Alma is fully supportive of her adoptive daughter's sojourns to enter various chess competitions. With help from her oldest friend Jolene, whom she grew up with in the orphanage, she prepares for her biggest challenge yet, a major international chess tournament against the world's best players in Moscow. In October 2020, the series was the most watched show on Netflix in the United States. On November 23, 2020, Netflix announced that the series had been watched by 62 million households since its release. The series received praise from the chess community for its realistic portrayal of the game and players. Production designer Uli Hanisch developed the series sets to evoke the aesthetic of the 1950s and 1960s. Much of the series was filmed in Berlin because interiors found there could stand in for a large number of the show's locations, including Las Vegas, Cincinnati, Mexico City, Moscow, and Paris. In Constant Love is a Turkish romantic television series. The plot proved interesting to many viewers. Ray Yen is Nesu Sadoglu's granddaughter, patriarch of the prominent Sadoglu family in the town of Midyat. However, she has never felt loved by anyone in her household except her father, Hazar, her mother, Zara, and her younger sister, Gul. Ray Yen has been mistreated by her grandfather since childhood because she is not his biological granddaughter, and the only reason he accepted her into the family was at Hazar's request. One morning, Ray Yen goes out on horseback to watch the sunrise. On her way back, her horse is nearly hit by a car. Ray Yen falls and loses consciousness. The driver of the car, a handsome young man named Miran, is immediately attracted to her and offers to drive her back home. Yaren, daughter of Hazar's brother, Chihan, is infatuated with Miran. When Miran falls in love with her cousin, Yaren swears revenge on Rayen for stealing Miran from her and ruining her life. Eventually, Miran and Rayen are married. However, Miran abandons Rayen after their first night as husband and wife, sparking intense feelings of betrayal and hatred in Rayen. She vows to never let him forget what he has done to her. Soon, Rayen finds out that everything Miran has told her about himself is a lie, his name, his background, his family, and the wedding. Miran's plan all along was to gain the trust of the Sadagla family, marry their innocent daughter and then leave her the morning after, humiliating the entire family and thus, exacting the first part of his revenge against the Sadaglas. Yellowstone is an American drama television series created by Taylor Sheridan and John Linson that premiered on June 20, 2018, on Paramount Network. In 2013, Taylor Sheridan began work on the series, having recently grown tired of acting and begun writing screenplays. On May 3, 2017, Paramount Network announced that it had greenlit its first scripted series, Yellowstone. Paramount issued a series order for a first season consisting of 10 episodes. The series stars Kevin Costner, Luke Grimes, Wes Bentley, Kelly Riley, Cole Hauser, and Gil Birmingham. The series follows the conflicts along the shared borders of a large cattle ranch, an Indian reservation, and land developers. The series follows the Dutton family, owners of the largest ranch in Montana, the Yellowstone Dutton Ranch, commonly called the Yellowstone. The plot revolves around family drama at the ranch and the bordering Broken Rock Indian Reservation, National Park, and developers. The territory of the Yellowstone Ranch is a tidbit for the neighbors. But John Dutton, thanks to his sons Lee and Jamie and manager Rip Wheeler, deflects all attacks. John's middle son, Casey, lives on the reservation with his wife and son, rides wild horses, and does not want to communicate with his father. But the new head of this Indian reservation, Thomas Rainwater, is looking for an excuse to start a confrontation with John in order to weaken him and then buy back his land. To do this, he enlists all the disgruntled and ambitious politicians in Montana, and also takes a closer look at Casey. The same territory is claimed by millionaire real estate developer Dan Jenkins, who wants to build a huge luxury block next to the ranch. Legacies is an American fantasy drama television series, created by Julie Pleck, that premiered on October 25, 2018. 
Legacies follows Hope Michelson, the daughter of Klaus Michelson and Haley Marshall, who is descended from some of the most powerful vampire, werewolf, and witch bloodlines. 17-year-old Hope attends the Salvatore School for the Young and Gifted. The school provides a haven where supernatural beings can learn to control their abilities and impulses. The first episode introduces the viewer to an interesting plot. Hope Michelson, a student at the Salvatore School for the Young and Gifted, assists her headmaster, Alaric Saltzman, in recruiting werewolf, Raphael, to the school. In the process, Hope runs into her old friend Landon, who is also Raphael's foster brother, but since the school for the supernatural is deemed to be too dangerous for humans, Landon is turned away. When vampire student, M.G., fails to compel Landon to forget his knowledge of the supernatural, it is assumed Landon has ingested vervain. Landon is locked up in a cell until it can clear his system. Hope visits Landon in his cell while Alaric's daughters Josie and Lizzie give Raphael a tour of the school. Hope tells Landon the truth about her supernatural origins. Knowing his memory will be erased, Landon kisses her. After Landon leaves, it is revealed the compulsions have still not worked and he stole a knife from the school before he left. Hope enlists Josie to help her locate the knife and Landon. Landon's bus explodes and as Sheriff Matt Donovan evaluates the crime scene, Alaric deduces it was Landon, who is missing, must be some kind of supernatural being. Hope vows to track him down. Heroes is an American superhero drama television series created by Tim Crane. The series tells the stories of ordinary people who discover that they have superhuman abilities and how these abilities take effect in the characters' lives as they work together to prevent catastrophic futures. The series emulates the aesthetic style and storytelling of American comic books, using multi-episode story arcs that build upon a larger, more encompassing narrative. Originally, Kring designed the series to have an ever-shifting cast. However, his motivation changed when he realized how popular the original cast was with audiences, therefore, he brought back most of the first season cast for the second season, with a few additions who received star billing. In its first season, the show features an ensemble cast of 12 main characters making it the third largest cast in American primetime television behind Desperate Housewives and Lost. The plot of Heroes is designed to be told in a way similar to the way comic books are told. Each season of Heroes contains one or two volumes. There are several main storylines in each volume. As the main plots develop, smaller, more intimate stories are told within them. Each main character's story is developed separately and as time passes their paths cross and it is explained how their stories are intertwined and connected. This is the story of ordinary people who discover extraordinary superpowers after a solar eclipse reveals them, and how these abilities affect the characters' daily lives. The first season, known as Volume 1, Genesis, begins with a seemingly ordinary group of people who gradually become aware that they have special abilities. The story develops showing their reactions to those powers, and how that discovery affects their personal and professional lives. At the same time, several ordinary individuals are investigating the origins and extent of those abilities. Mohinder Suresh, a research geneticist, continues his late father's research into the biological source of the powers, while Noah Bennett represents, and is a lead agent for, a secret organization known only as the company that wants to control, and if necessary, terminate those who are gifted. After only having a short time to come to terms with their new abilities, each of the heroes is drawn into the final showdown. Heroes include some mysterious fictional recurring elements that have been ascribed to science fiction or supernatural phenomena. Kring and the creators of the series referred to these fictional elements as part of the mythology of the series. Kring confirmed that although the show has a unique mythology, he did not want to sink too deeply into it. Rather, Kring used volumes to wrap up ongoing plot lines instead of carrying storylines over long periods of time as in Lost. Season 1 received highly positive reviews. During the season, the American Film Institute named Heroes one of the 10 best television programs of the year. How I Met Your Mother is an American sitcom, created by Craig Thomas and Carter Bays for CBS. The series, which aired from 2005 to 2014, follows the main character, Ted Mosby, and his group of friends in New York City's Manhattan. The series was loosely inspired by Thomas and Bays' friendship when they both lived in New York. The vast majority of episodes were directed by Pamela Fryman, who directed 196 episodes out of 208. 
Known for its unique structure, humor, and incorporation of dramatic elements, How I Met Your Mother was popular throughout its run. It initially received positive reviews upon release, but reception became more mixed as the seasons went on. The show was nominated for 91 awards and received 21. In 2010, Alison Hannigan won the People's Choice Award for Favorite TV Comedy Actress. In 2012, seven years after its premiere, the series won the People's Choice Award for Favorite Network TV Comedy, and Neil Patrick Harris won the award for Favorite TV Comedy Actor twice. The series follows the adventures of Ted Mosby, played by Josh Radner, and his love life as a single man. His stories are narrated by Bob Saget as Ted Mosby 25 years later as he tells them to his adolescent children. The plot of the first episodes of the first season was very interesting. After his best friend Marshall proposes to his long-term girlfriend, Lily, Ted solicits help from his friend Barney to find the one for his life. He manages to get a date with Robin, a girl he met at his usual neighborhood bar, but threatens to scare Robin away when he accidentally reveals his love for her on the very first date. Meanwhile, Marshall accidentally hits Lily in the eye with the champagne stopper after they get engaged, forcing her to wear an eye patch. In an attempt to repair his situation with Robin, Ted instead pursues a casual relationship with her by inviting her to a series of parties. Marshall tries to write an important 25-page law paper, but Ted's parties and Lily's post-engagement desire distracts him. Meanwhile, Barney tries to end a relationship he unknowingly started. Ted agrees to let Barney disrupt his routine by taking an impromptu trip to the airport with him that eventually leads the duo to Philadelphia and trouble with airport security. Meanwhile, Lily and Robin go out for drinks, but Lily becomes jealous when she is not as successful with men as Robin is, for which she blames her engagement ring. Marshall travels between both situations in an attempt to rectify the group's problems. Better Call Saul is an American crime drama television series created by Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould. It is a spin-off, prequel, and a sequel to Gilligan's previous series, Breaking Bad. Set primarily in the early to middle part of the 2000s in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the series develops Jimmy McGill, an earnest lawyer and former con artist, into an egocentric criminal defense attorney known as Saul Goodman. Also shown is the moral decline of retired police officer Mike Ermentrout, who becomes closely affiliated with the Juarez drug cartel to support his granddaughter and her widowed mother. These two storylines are mostly told separately but do converge when Jimmy and Mike work together. At the start of the series, Jimmy struggles financially while working as a court-appointed lawyer. He lives in the back room of a nail salon which doubles as an office. Better Call Saul has received critical acclaim, with particular praise for its acting, characters, writing, direction, and cinematography. Many critics have called it a worthy successor to Breaking Bad and one of the greatest television series of all time, with some deeming it superior to its predecessor. It has garnered many nominations. Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould began planning a television spin-off of Breaking Bad as early as 2009. Each episode's title sequence features a different low-quality image that recalls Saul Goodman's days on Breaking Bad. This includes the inflatable Statue of Liberty balloon that sat atop Saul's office, a drawer of burner phones kept in his desk, and a bench that advertised his business at a bus stop. Gould and Gilligan were inspired by the notoriously low production values of 1980s public access television, and from the fact that Saul Goodman's ads on Breaking Bad were done in the same style. They intended for the title sequences to appear purposefully awful in order to stand out from those of its contemporaries, which generally had increased visual quality and production standards. Some of the title sequences were put together from unused footage from Breaking Bad, but others were filmed specifically to create new ones. Better Call Saul has received critical acclaim and is considered to be an outstanding example of how to successfully produce a prequel and spin-off work that defies expectations. Many critics have called Better Call Saul a worthy successor to Breaking Bad and some have even deemed it superior to its predecessor.